Yes. Welcome back, everybody. Um, welcome back to the Mothar Project. Uh, has been a while. Well, only two days, but oh well, two days are good enough. Always good enough. So uh, today we're gonna f uh, get this one and that one done. So we're gonna create the second part of the the uh, the the second two claws. I just need to figure out like which position they are the best in, but probably like this. Probably like this and this. That would be good. That would be good. Could do something else with it, but I think that's fine. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Hey, Gemini Salami. So yeah, let's get started on this. Um, so how am I gonna do this? Um, I need to make sure like this. So which do I have? Yeah. I have the lid background, which I need to go for. That's this one, right? This one, yes. So I need to move this one because you know this is the art, this is the artwork for the hands. So we now need to get uh, get this started. So we're gonna remove the other parts that we have been left uh, leaving behind, which are the other two claws. So now we have like these claws are left. It's almost the same as the other ones. So we're gonna figure out how to do that. So yeah, um, I want them to be like right over here. That would make no sense, so I should then put one there. There's, uh, this one needs to be fixed. So if I have like a hand, I need to put it in the right direction. So I need to put that there. It's supposed to be right there. So this is way too big then. Yep, it's way too big. Much better. So how do I want this? I want it to be like that. There you go. So ah god damn it. So yeah, we need to we need to create a, a tinier version of this. Alright, that's one. Now we need to also draw on this and then get the other part. So the other part is gonna be right over here. I know this might not be the right, you know, size whatsoever, but it's sketching, so it doesn't matter that much. Just means that I need to know how to do things rightfully. So I need to be like over here, then get it right over there. Yeah, that's more like it. So one of these things is gonna be like that, and the other one is gonna be like that, and then you know, the belly is gonna be like this. So that should be fine. That way, do I need to really need to move that a little bit? Probably. So if I want to do this, I need to move them a little bit. So I'm gonna move them a little bit to the side right here. That will give me more of an edge on drawing the belly. And then this needs to be on the this needs to be here. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So yeah. And this needs to be tinier. So this needs to be still here, but it needs to be tinier. It's right here. And this needs to be on this side, so it needs to be right over here instead of there. Oh. I need to make I need to make sure that I do this rightfully. So yeah. Now it should be in line with each other. So hey, space junk. Looks like a tick boy. Yeah, 
it does look like a tick boy, but hey, you know, I'm getting there eventually. Just uh, needs to make sure that I have my claws and my hands correctly. So yeah, that's the first thing first. Also, this might not look like the real thing, but this is just, you know, sketching up the parts that I need to do. So, that's correct. That's more like it. So yeah, this is going to be one part, this is going to be one part, and then, you know, it fills up the area. Alright, so I've done that. And then I can continue on the belly itself, so that's going to be good. I don't know if the sound is correct. Oh, let me test. Ah, uh, it's going to be good. I don't know if the... Good. Test that is right, so... Didn't move that too much. Alright, so now we can continue on drawing here correctly. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So, now we're gonna work on Claw 2. Oh no, 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 Claw 3. So, Claw 3 we're gonna work on. So that's what we're gonna work on now. So Claw 3 is gonna be the Claw that's gonna be above these two. So yeah. It's going to be the same thing again. I should zoom in here. There you go. So yeah. So yes, this will work. So I'm gonna do that. And the feathers I'm not gonna be doing because I'm gonna put them on a different line. So I'm gonna be like this, right? Now I need to cut down the part where I drew it in. So I need to roll that. There you go. And I have another blank version. I'm gonna switch this to this one instead, otherwise I might be having trouble. Um, so let's see. So how do I do this again? Mm, all right. like it. Alright, let's continue now. So now I need to figure out this. So we have like... There you go. So yeah, let's go for that. That kind of approach, yes, perfect. 
And I need to make now I need to make sure that I have the right amount of energy put into it. Sorry that I'm not talking too much. Don't know where she is. But she will be on time anyway. So don't worry about it. She will probably visit anyway. Let's see. So yeah. I'm currently busy doing this. So don't mind me if I do. This takes so much time. Just figuring out how to do it correctly. The idea is like I need to do this perfectly so that you know they look the same as the other ones. Downside is that these ones don't look the same because you know they're not really the same. There you go. Much better. So now that we have that, now we need to make sure that we have everything complete. So, does that look the same? Yeah, it looks the same, but the only the edge here is a little bit too too rough. I don't like the edge of this. Let's be more sharpened. That's more like it. That's more like it. So that's more like it. Now, we actually need to put the feather part on it. So we're going to go for a map again on this thing. So that, you know, we don't can just reposition it ever if I want to go reposition it. So we add a map. We're gonna have a grip, quick grip. There you go. It's not a grip. And now we're gonna put something else on it. Now we're gonna put some feathers on it, and we need we need the other one part. Um, yes, that's more like it. Um, hold on. Need to fix something. There you go. Fix that, and we can continue. So, um, this might not look like the same thing as I always do, but it is the same thing. So, oh, I forgot to zoom in here.
So yeah, I'm overdrawing here over the original picture, but it doesn't matter really. Because I'm going to be just easily removing that. Just like that, boom. Alright, now I need to remove that. So now I need to put that on. Put my eeny mini sculpting practice on. Fix the mess on it. Remember to like the video, my dudes. Do either uh, either of you play Fallout 4? Um, no, I actually did not play Fallout 4. I have played Skyrim, by the way. Almost 500 hours in, modding it to the max. You know that that kind of lovely stuff. So that is what I do normally. In my main time, uh, normally in my main time, if I am bored. So yeah, I do that. I don't know if that counts. But yeah, I love Skyrim. I really like it. Wait, this is not that. I put it on the different layer, didn't I? I put it on the layer that I'm not supposed to touch. Yep, I put it on a different layer. God damn it! What did it, what was on this layer? What was on this layer? Totally nothing, man. Absolutely nothing was on this layer. Absolutely nothing was on this layer. Absolutely nothing. Allow me to just delete this layer right here. Well, I need it anyway, but allow me to move it then instead. Up you go! Don't let the car walk bad, 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 bad. So, yeah, we're pressing it 
we're pressing it, we're pressing it, we're pressing it. Come on. Now go down. So yes. I fucking knew it. So this one. This one worked, but this one didn't work. Why is that? Because this this thing needs to be an actual. So this whole group. Let's go down. Exactly. I am smart. There's a great mod called Sim Settlements. There is, it's better than the base game. The sequel was released recently. I expect it to be on the update, but I have huge improvements on the story. Nice. Yeah, the um, main problem I am like, I'm not in the Fallout uh, genre mo most likely. Like, I'm not in that into it too much. I'm more into um how do you say hmm how do you say that I'm more into the games like Skyrim or any other uh what kind of games am I in I'm into strategy games uh shoot oh boy. shooting games I'm into that I am into um Yeah, shooting games I'm into, I'm into strategy games, and I like Skyrim, but, you know, I'm not in the modern, futuristic uh, kind of roleplay. Alright, let's see, so I need this, I need that. So now I should have been fixed, I fixed it, I hope. Did I? Oh, I did not fully. Let me just... Now, put, uh, wait. There we go. Fix that problem. Right over there. That's more like it. Alright, so, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure I have. This gone, so I need to remove the cleansing over this part. Don't want to cause any troubles here. Safe for the seven day. So yeah. Oh hey blue. Oops, there, do there, do. there you go. So yeah, I am trying to get this thing fully loaded with feathers, so I should be fine here. I should be very fine. It's a fine, fine day for fine things to happen. So now, I like RPGs and strategy games. Recently, I have been getting into all the RPG like games like the stalker games. Oh sweet. I remember the day when I was using uh, uh I remember that still one of the games that I love to play is still having a running server. Which I'm surprised about, you know? It's it's not normal that uh, games that old have a server, but thanks to, you know, platforms like Steam and a good community, you know, you still have decent uh, decent games and decent uh, server quality on it. So yeah, I still play the uh, old-fashioned, um, how do you say, the old-fashioned game, um, Impossible Creatures. Yeah, I still play that. I love to play it. And I will play it because, you know, it's a good game. The only downside on the game is that the game is uh, pretty old, but for the rest, pff, I don't mind. Even if it is an old game, I don't really mind. And why don't I mind? Because I really like to play it. 
it's one of those games, you know, when you play the game, and you realize, like, oh my god, this is getting old? Well, no. That game is never getting old. Why? Because of the possibilities that you can create uh, on an army. There are different benefits to each different army, which then, you know, gives variety in your, arm, uh, in your army set. Like, are you going to focus on flyers? Are you going to focus on... Uh, on melee, are you gonna focus on range? Whatever, are you gonna make? Are you gonna make a balanced uh, army, or are you gonna rush people with zerk like tactics? I don't know. It's all up to you. So yeah, that 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 game is like oh, it's such a holy gift, and I still love to play it. You know, I love to play it every every single time I play it because the music is good, the quality of the game is still good. It aged very well because the mod the mods are so generous to impl imply new texture packs for a lot of creatures and imply new creatures every single time, which then you know creates new possibilities and one of those creature packs is like an almost official release, so now you don't have to play the old vanilla game because you know they are trying to work out uh, balancing for one of the mods which I really like, it's Terillion and therefore you know what, because you're playing that game and it is balanced and you have fun and it has an active community to play with you know it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of joy a lot of joy for not a lot of things I bought the game like for 3 euros or something so I don't mind you know, I paid I paid nine bucks for it when I when it first came out in 2006, and now I pay and now I pay what? I now pay like three bucks to just get it on Steam. Eh, sure, why not? So yeah, I bought the game, I played the game when it was old. I played I bought the game and played it when it was old again, but now on Steam. So yeah, I'm very happy about it. You know. A lot of game, a lot of games like uh, a lot of games don't age well. Some are, some old games do age really well, and others don't. And my personal opinion is like, you know, you can you can put an age to a game, but you cannot put an age to the gameplay. Like if the gameplay is solid, you know, you still will be entertained regardless on the age, because the graphics of the of the game never gets old because you created a way to make it happen so um, yes um, let me do my move this and I do my move now alright hold on hold on hold on wait, wait 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 yes so this is all gonna be on one part which is a terrible terrible thing to have happened so yeah well, I have seen so few other games with an uh, with modern multiplayer that is somewhat popular. I'm looking for the Jedi Academy mods that searchable community. Nice. Yeah, something like that. Or um, if you don't know this one, um, I think it still is online. I don't know because I have not touched it yet. But Red Faction, uh, oh, no, not Red Faction. I mean, uh. Command and Conquire Renegade, if I'm correct, the first-person shooter version of the Command and Conquire series. If I'm correct, that's a very that was very popular back in the day. You know that game? That was really popular. So allow me to just pick up a new layer, just in case, because I'm getting really problematic here. So this is Claw Three Chunk. So I'm gonna put it there, and I'm gonna put that layer here. Oh wait, I don't have to. What I'm talking about, jeez. Why well, I'm doing all this effort for nothing? So yeah, um, allow me to show you why. I'm doing claw one and claw three, and claw claw three is this. This is claw three, not the other one. So now I'm gonna work on this one. So. Claw. There you go. And eventually I will just remove this, but until then, uh, three, there you go. 
and now we're gonna continue so this one is gonna be up under two but above three so I'm gonna make a new one here I'm gonna be called it claw four I feel on strategy games I love finding out how the game functions and exploit the heck out of the game yeah I have games similar to that like you know in impossible creatures you can technically starve the AI from resources if you have a good amount of army but the problem is if you work around it that's where the cool stuff begins because then the AI is actually quite good and then you know it won't starve from resources and because it doesn't starve from resources you're gonna have a bad time because the AI is actually quite smart in the game it's not the best don't get me wrong on that one, but once the AI is not, you know, once the AI knows how you tick, you know, ho, oh, then you're gonna get epic fights. So when do I need to go for the point? So yes, let's be there. Alright, so one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, I'll be right back. I need to grab a book. And why? Because I wanted to show you something. Stop. All right, now we need to look for the name so that we can find it on the internet so I can show you guys what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I want to show you something where I got the idea from from the little stumps on the on the other part of the leg. You know, the little stumpy stumps which, you know, are supposed to be functional for grabbing two things. But I'm looking for, you know, the creature that I'm looking for, not, not the Archaeopteryx, I'm not looking for that one. I'm looking for another one. So these are illustrations of the creature. They are not representative of you know the fossils, but they are representations on how the creature would look like. So hold your horses. I'm looking for the thing. So yeah. Oh here it is. It's called the shoe the shoe sh shoe voo yeah. Oh that's a long word. Jeez Louise. Shoe Vu Ia. There you go. Shuvu Ia. There it is. So, how the hell does this creature look like? What? Yeah, there it is. Ah, look at that. Here it is. Ech. Live fossil, people. A live fossil about the little stumps on the creature. So, yeah. This was a bird, well, dinosaur, more likely, which didn't have a lot of things. It did not have a lot of things. So, yeah, that's where I got the idea from, you know, using little talents to, you know, use it as a hook uh, for, the, for, uh, for the creature to be, you know, able to hook on to things. So, I actually created a useless... Uh, I went from a useless uh, from a useless perspective of you know you cannot use these things to you know they are able this is why it evolved like that you know it had these stumps and then these stumps were able to cling on to trees and therefore you know stumps will be useful and that's why he has four of them and then he still has the back feet and he has wings so that's how he can fly so yeah um I just wanted to just give you a little heads up like where the hell did I got with the idea of that thing so that's that's the fun thing about it you know you the more you learn the better you, you see ah <laughs> so yeah um I got the idea from it 
I did not use a representative, I just got the idea like, hey, wait a minute, that creature exists. Oh well, I can use it, you know, that that's that's the how I that's how I roll normally. So now I need to go for tier three and then I need to remove this paint layer like that. Yes, thank you. So yeah. I know, right? It's really cute. It's like a little uh a little creature that you know knows how to that knows how to you know eat insects it's an insect eating creature which used his hands to you know dig in like uh, a giant ant eater uses his claws to dig into a ant hole this creature just you know digs in into the ground find a termite hole and then eats with his long beak eats the little creatures up so it uses it as a digging tool to get access towards his food. So that's why it had, had such stumps. It was not. It was a. It was a late create Cretaceous dinosaur. Yeah, it was a late Cretaceous dinosaur. Although the name is a little bit uh, difficult to pronounce, so I was like, wait a minute, that's in my book. I can look it up, and then you know, look it up on the internet, and I can show you what the hell it is. But yeah. In my book, it's all in uh, Stumpy Boy. Yes, indeed, Stumpy. But these things are more designed for hooking onto trees. They are designed for, you know, clinging onto the tree as support uh, ways of, you know, clinging onto it. So, because they're a little bit longer, they are able to, you know, uh, clink like a praying mantis. I don't know if you know that, but they are like. They can be clinged on like, you know, cling, I guess. So, but not like that, not that heavily, but they can be clinged on like that. So they can be clinged on like, um, I don't know, they need to be other way around. Because the muscle goes like that, so they can be clinged on like this. Yes, they can cling on like that. I put them that they can move up and down. So they can move up and down, but they can also move backwards and then cling on to the cling on to it, or they can move upwards and then cling on to it. So it, I probably yeah, that's the better way. So they actually work like functional uh, insect feet, you know, that normally you know supports the creature itself. So Clinky Boy, indeed, it's a true Clinky Boy right now. So yeah. Um, I just wanted to share your. I just wanted to share my thoughts on that because you know, it's the idea of how you can represent uh, a way or a function in the design. So, desi the design might not be fully, you know, great because you know it's a, it's still a creature with that kind of thing. But this creature has like you know sharp. Sharp pointed hooks that he can cling on to food, he can cling on to trees. So, you know, it can use it as a claw, but it can also use it to support itself to cling on to things so that, you know, it can rest. It can rest its wings without, you know, using any other parts. It has its feet to move on, uh, to stabilize him once he is, uh, when he, once he is, once he is set. And then you know it, uh, but yeah, um, but that's all the thoughts that uh, went into it. Like you know, I I like to put thoughts into whatever I'm doing. Like oh wait, I did this already before because you know every single thing I did has already been done before. But you know, as long as you make it reasonable and you know it looks nice, I think I'm fine with it. It's not like I copied someone else's homework. No, 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 that's not what I did. I did it by myself. I, I took the representation of a creature that is real, and then you know used my own representation to combine it with the things that I needed. And what I needed is to be moth-like, and to make it moth-like, I need stumpy feet, or well, stumpy or clinging feet like an insect. But I cannot just go for insect feet because that would be stupid. Well. It could not be stupid, but it would then be obviously an insect. 
And I don't want to be it. obviously that it is a hybrid. I want to be obviously that it's a hybrid. I want these scientists to doubt themselves every single time they look at the skeleton. That's what I want. I want them to doubt. I want them to hesitate on their work. I want them to research it like nobody else did back in the day. I want them to realize like, oh shit, this creature is out of this world. How is this happening? How did this evolve and like that? You know, that that's the uh, that's the idea. Well that's the idea at least. I uh, I want that to happen. And probably my mic was a little bit too far, so I'm gonna move it a little bit further so that I can scream on my top of my lungs to say, Oh yeah, that happens. Normally I'm not that excited, but uh you know, sometimes that happens. Oh, there it goes again. So test four, two, three, one, yeah. That's better, I hope. When I speak now there should not be a, a painful noise when I scream. If I'm correct, of course. I don't know. Can anybody confirm that please? That would be nice. Otherwise I would not hear anything. Otherwise I can just look it up myself. That would take time. <laughs> Boom. Uh, no painful noises? Good, so you all can hear me clearly then. That's good. Because I was afraid that that happens, because the last time I tried to record, uh, it happened when I got excited. It uh, it went a little bit too loud. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing new under the sun. Some dead guy in a book. <laughs> Many times well known. <laughs> then well then well read. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Thank you, bud. So yeah, this thing, lovely. Oh man, I'm already, I'm already at 40 minutes. Jeez, Louise, I am the sluggiest sla, I'm the sluggiest snail ever. When it comes to you know, hey, you want to do details? Yes, I'm always stuck on the details. That's the idea. So now I have done that. That one does not look like a normal knife, like a normal talent. I need to fix that. Um, how do I fix that? I need to fix it by doing this. And then I need to get to this one. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna lighten it up a little bit. No, that's a little bit too short, but I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Boom! That's more like it, and now I can just, you know, darken up this a little bit, so it won't look like it did before, because now I implemented more darkness into it, instead of, you know, lighting it up like a, like a torch. So that would be better. A great artist, a great artist steals. <laughs> Well, a great artist knows how to steal and produce a better image. That's how you need to look at it. Like, if you know how to steal, sure, fine, I guess. But if you know how to make better art than the artist itself, you know, then, uh, then you got talent, kid. It's not plagiarism when you just borrow some things of it, like, you know, a little things. It's not plagiarism then. It's only plagiarism when... Uh, oh, I see that. I, oh, I did something wrong there. Oh no. Not again. So yeah, I did something. I did something wrong here. Uh, what is it? 
that's it right here. All right. Well, time to do my job here. I need to put some flesh onto it. I need to put some dark and lighting to it. Otherwise, it won't look like a truly well bludged entity. Right there. I need to remove that, and I need to remove that. That way, it won't. And it will be clear. Yes. All right. Good. 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 Go. All good and merry. It's very difficult, you know, to make things rightfully so. Um. Why is this so dark? It's darker than those things. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. All right. Time to go for the big boy then. Very softly. That's more like it. Alright, so now I have done that. Now I need to make sure that I have the claw number four. Claw number three. Get back to me. Show me your layers. There you go. Remove the other layer now. So we're gonna go for the hard brush again and then we're gonna remove things. Because that's how it's done. So yeah. It's very annoying. And I get it. Hmm. Where is that line then? The is that on the different line? Don't tell me it's on the other line. It's on this line? No. Which line is it? Ah, uh, boy. There it is. All right. So now we need to move towards the claw. Claw four, and make a new. Make a new map again. I'm gonna call this Claw Four. Claw Four. So yes, now we have that. Now we can go for here. Tiny little, tiny little detail. Push, push. There it is. Perfect. And then put the feathers on. All right, let's go. I'm getting there eventually, you know. It just takes me a lot of time, and I need to maybe lessen this darkness a little bit up. But I'll find a way to do that. But first, I need to get this thing all done. So, Oh, right, I'm not supposed to add details when I'm doing this. So, yeah. So, that's how big things go. Alright, so now I need to go over here and then go down and tiny thing here. Yep, boom, tiny, 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 big, big, big. Big, tiny, 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 big, 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 tiny, 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 big, 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 tiny, 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 tiny. Oh, well, that's uh, that's a little bit awkward. Oh, I'll figure it. I'll fix it.
All right. So I'll fix that. All right. And now, uh, how late is it? Oh man, damn it! I thought I would have this in one hour. Oh well. So tomorrow we're gonna continue on this beautiful quest. Um, we're gonna fix this bit bad boy up. We're gonna fix this nail right over here. It's way too dark. We're gonna fix up the um. We're gonna fix up the feathers. And we're gonna add some more details upon this part. And then uh, that's all what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna mainly do tomorrow, so that we have done that. And then we're gonna design the back. We're gonna design the butt. Because the butt is also very important because that's one of the things that it needs to do. Um so uh I wanna say to you all, I wish you all a nice day and uh Oh wait, lip. Have a nice day, and enjoy uh, and 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 enjoy the day until last. Because you know, I had a great day. I hope you do as well. And until the next time. Bye.